I'm a cancer survivor. But that's not the foremost in my mind. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a yoga teacher, I'm a member of the community, and I'm also a cancer survivor. Summer of 2012, I just noticed I, I had symptoms like indigestion, a lot of discomfort in the abdomen, in my, in my stomach and in my digestive tract. She went to a primary care physician who ordered a pelvic ultrasound which showed a mass on one of her ovaries. It was there that the word cancer first came up. They said, you, you have something, we don't know what it is, it's pretty large, it needs to come out and um, it does need to be surgery. Nadia went to the operating room, pathologists came back saying that it was likely a cancer, at which point I was called into the operating room. There is actually data that shows that when women have their cancer surgeries performed by a, a trained gynecologic oncologist, that their outcome and that their survival is improved. They did a full cancer staging surgery, so full hysterectomy, double oophorectomy, fallopian tubes as well. The disease was confined to her pelvis, which made her a stage two ovarian cancer. I was pretty shaken up, um, but she said, don't worry, whatever we have to do, we're gonna do, and I'm gonna be there with you every step of the way. What I'd really like patients to know is that there is hope, that, there is, that they won't be alone, and being able to um, follow them throughout the, the journey of their diagnosis and to support them through that. That's a huge honor. I started chemo um, October 11th, 2012. It was every three weeks um, for six cycles. I had already, with friends, gone and um, arranged for a wig, a really great wig, and I have curly hair, so I decided if I'm gonna wear a wig, I'm gonna have straight hair. She is now over two years out from completing that chemotherapy and is currently without any evidence of disease recurrence. We are keeping a close eye on her. I wish I had met Dr. Garrett under different circumstances, but I'm so glad I met her. And that's something that we joke about. You were with me every step of the way like you said you would be, and now still. I go and see her every six months and we give each other a big hug. Good to see you, Leslie. Nadia's doing great. I think she still is affected by this diagnosis. It obviously changed her life, but she's getting through those challenges and the resiliency and strength that women have inspire me on a daily basis. Wow. I like my hair. I do. <laughs> I feel good. I'm back to teaching, you know, a full practice. I did another level of certification last year, so I took my teaching up another notch, and my practice is back, and if not better, because I feel like I've cultivated an awareness. I think the biggest challenge with ovarian cancer and making a difference in the disease outcomes is educating women in terms of being advocates for their own health. We as women, we tend to bear a lot of things and say, oh, it's fine, it's fine. No take any changes in your body seriously. If you feel a lot of indigestion, if you feel a lump, if you feel bloating, if you feel anything, go and get it checked out. If something doesn't feel right, it might be nothing, but it also might be something. And so don't ever be afraid to voice that. Be aware and be curious. Peace of mind is worth it.